Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well guys, it seems today is finally time for the most requested Dory paint video ever. Really, I have this project in my planning already probably for three years, no longer than three years, probably since the very beginning of my channel. I get requests to make a mini me doll and I'm planning to make a mini me doll. But unfortunately, there were always some other people, celebrities, I don't know, characters, cartoons, who were more interesting for me to make and that's why I have been waiting for such a long time with this mini me doll but today it's finally time guys yes today we're finally going to make a mini me doll and especially for this makeover I've got the second Wonder Woman doll a couple of weeks ago in my Billie Eilish doll repaint video I've mentioned already that I've got the Wonder Woman doll for a mini me makeover but then I've decided to give this Wonder Woman doll to the Billie Eilish project makeover so I've decided to buy another doll like this because I really think that this doll a little bit looks like me in some way. At least she looks like me more than any Monster High or a Barbie doll that I've seen. I don't know. I feel like this doll in some way. So humble me. I've decided to take this Wonder Woman because I think that Wonder Woman looks like me. Voila. That's the point of this video. And I think we can start working. So first of all, I'm going to destroy this doll, of course, like, I mean, destroy her original makeup, remove her outfit, we're going to cut her hair very, very short, because her hair is pure black with some blue highlights, and we're going to give her more such a natural dark brown hair color. So, I'm going to start working, and you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, the bell button, hit all the buttons and I'm going to start working, guys. <laughs> we took already a closer look at this doll a couple of weeks ago when we worked on my Billie Eilish doll and there is nothing actually changed for me since then. I still really love this doll because of her very proportional and fully articulated body and also like that her feet, they have quite a normal size and proportions so all in all this doll, she looks very good and very normal well, that's why I've chosen her for a mini-me makeover. So, now let's cut her hair off and then I will warm her head up with a hair dryer to make it soft and easy to take off. when the head has been disconnected, I can remove the rest of the short hair from the inside of the head using my tweezers. And after this, I can remove her face with pure acetone. Okay, now it's rerouting time. I've decided to give my doll this dark brown hair. I think the color looks exactly like my own. So now let's fill in all the holes in her head with this new hair using my rerouting tool. So, this is her new hair a couple of hours later, it looks pretty good, I think, it looks like it should. And now I will glue the hair to the head from the inside using tacky glue. And after this I will let it dry for 24 hours. And 
when the glue gets completely dry, I can protect the hair, seal the face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant, and then I'm going to start drawing her face using pastels and watercolor pencils. Of course, it's pretty challenging to draw your own face because you don't really see yourself from the side that much. In my case, I see myself, I don't know, when I just edit my intros and outros, I don't really take that many selfies, honestly, I just don't think it's needed, I don't know, I'm not a selfie addict. But anyway, let's try to create something here on this doll's face that would remind myself a little bit. After drawing the face I need to blush the body as well because the difference is quite big right now as you can see. So let's go through our standard body blushing routine and first of all I sand the body with the nail buffers to remove this glossy top from the surface. Then I clean it with rubbing alcohol to remove the dust and my own fingerprints. Afterwards, I spray it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I blush it with the same pastels I've just used on her face. So, the face and the body seem to match now, and it means it's time to make the outfit. I was going to make the black shirt with stars that you could see me wearing just now in the beginning of this video. I wore it really a lot in my videos, the complete Zodiac collection was filmed in it. But lately my favorite top is actually the blue turtleneck. I wear it really often nowadays, and in real life, and in my videos. So I've decided to give the mini version of myself the same blue top, so right now I'm trying to make it out of this piece of blue fabric because I think the color is just ideal, it's a perfect match with the original blue turtleneck.
So the top is finished and for the bottom I wear mostly or jeans, just some regular blue or black jeans or black yoga pants, nothing special. And when I'm sitting home working on dolls, I always, absolutely always wear black yoga pants. So I will give my dolls this pair of black leggings, I took it from another Barbie doll, I think from some Barbie made to move yoga or something like this, and they're just perfect in my case. The next step is making shoes and I wear mostly white Adidas Superstar sneakers. They always look good, they always look kind of fashionable, trendy and they fit to everything. So let's make them out of warbler. You know, I really love making warbler shoes for my dolls. Okay, the outfit looks great, but of course, me, it's not just my face, my hair and my outfit. Me, it's mostly what I do, what I like, what I've been known for. So today we're going to make really a lot of extra things, really a lot of accessories. We have to make this doll a real mini version of myself. And let's start probably with bigger pieces today and first of all I need a desk and a chair to be able to work on my dolls, I need some working space. And I'm going to use this chair for Monster High dolls as a basis for my future chair and I'm going to modify it using this thick foam.
Now I'm going to sand it to make the shapes more smooth. I think I also want to add armrests to the chair and for this I'm going to use sticky Warbler Cobra cast thermoplastic. And then I cover the chair with acrylics. Okay, the chair looks really good, I think, so now let's make the table as well. This is not difficult at all, the chair was much more challenging, and for this I'm going to use the same thick foam. Okay, the big pieces of furniture are finished and now I can make smaller things. And first of all, I'm going to make my art supplies. Pencils, brushes, soft pastels and I'm going to use barbecue sticks to make them. Okay, the pencils look very cute and super realistic and right now let's make the brushes as well. And I'm going to sacrifice this brush to make a couple of mini brushes for my doll.
I'm going to use these two tiny containers from some spices to make two pencil holders. I think it was saffron here before. Anyway, it's good I never throw away things that might be used for something in the future because, you know, making accessories for dolls, it always requires some very weird <laughs> supplies and weird things from your household. Okay, now I want to make a set of soft pastels and first of all I'm making a box out of warbler thermoplastic. The box looks really good and now I can make soft pastels also out of barbecue sticks. So, I think we have all the art supplies finished and ready, and now we need dolls. And I have suddenly a set of absolutely ideal mini dolls here in my studio. I've bought them really years ago without having any specific plans for them, any special projects. But yeah, now it's finally their time, now it's finally the ideal projects to use these dolls because they look very cute and very detailed for their size. And the best part is that my big doll will be able to hold them really in her hand. They really fit perfectly into her hands. And by the way, I forgot to say actually that all the pencils and brushes and pastels that we made earlier, all of them fit perfectly into the doll's hands. I don't know, these barbecue sticks, they have really an ideal diameter for, for making something like this. Well, and now it's time for the last two elements of my studio. They're actually a very important part of my work as well as of my daily life. And this is actually because of them I had to skip a video last week because I had the choice like to skip this part, these two elements of the project and still try to make a video overnight or to take my time and to make everything like I've planned it. 
And you know, I just couldn't skip these two essential things because they're my cats, guys. And this is how they look in real life. You know, the black and white one you've seen already a couple of times in my videos And the little tiger, yeah, it's probably the first time she appears here on my channel So this is how these cats are in real life And these are two plastic cats that I've bought especially for these projects I know they don't look like my cats right now But we are going to customize them now, so Welcome to the very first cat repaint on my channel. Now we're going to customize these two cats. And I'm going to start with covering them both with white acrylics to get an empty canvas. And after this I paint them with acrylics. I don't know guys, they look super adorable to me. For some reason it's really cool to have these mini versions of your own cats that look exactly like your own cats. I don't know, we just probably love these cats too much. But you know what? I completely forgot to make the most important thing here in my studio. The Mr. Super Clear sealant. How could I miss it? I don't know. You cannot customize dolls without Mr. Super Clear sealant, so I'm going to make it quickly out of Warbler.
So, now it's time for the final details. I've already styled her hair, you know, there is nothing special because I mostly just wear my hair or down or in the ponytail. So, there was nothing special to show. And right now, let's attach the false lashes and add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. In the end, I want to add black nail polish, and then we will take a look at the end result pictures. So guys, and here is finally the mini version of myself. It's been, of course, quite a big project. First, I was planning to make it for three years. Then I was working on it for, I don't know, over three weeks for sure. And now we can finally celebrate the end of this project. Of course, making a mini me doll, it's always quite a big responsibility for an artist. And right now, I'm so happy I could make really everything what I've planned from the beginning. Of course, later I can add more outfits and other details and accessories, because this doll is staying here in my studio, so you will see her quite often here somewhere on the background. And you know, I also adore the mini cats. Thank God I didn't skip this part of this project to be able to upload this video a week ago. Because it would not be the same without my mini cats. I don't know, my studio just, it just would not be the same. So, and now I would love to hear what you think about this project. You were asking me to make a mini me doll all the time already for years. So, it's very important for me to know if you are satisfied with the end result of this transformation. So guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. And I will see you already very soon, next week Friday, in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys. Bye.